Good day everyone. Uh, just would like to show another one steel uh, that I've built. It's a continuous fuel ethanol steel. It's processing some uh, sugar based wash into fuel ethanol, industrial grade ethanol uh, up to 95%. Uh, it's a 10 kilowatt unit. Uh, production speed is about 6 liters, up to 6 liters per hour. All depends on the amount of alcohol in, uh, on content of alcohol in a wash. Uh, I'm using very old wash, it's probably 6 months old. So here's a steel, sorry for the lighting, it's not enough, it's a lot of wires. So the steel can be used with uh, like in a half, uh, a half power, at the half power and uh, would produce probably just 50% of its, of its capacity and ability. But anyway, now we're running it at about 10 kilowatts. Uh, 240 volts. He's a single column steel, one column, everything just in one column. Uh, now, he's only two controls with this steel uh, water controlled automatically. He's a steam generator at the bottom. All you need to do is just run water and uh, simply forget about that. Just sufficient amount of water should be run through the steel. Uh, this valve is controls the amount of wash you can see it here within the column so it's a, a wash supply wash flow valve and uh, you're supposed to keep about two-thirds of this tube filled up with wash so once you uh, adjust it you can make sure that everything is fine and then another one uh, at the top his uh, alcohol content and uh, alcohol uh, flow rate uh, wealth at the top. So technically once you adjust the bottom one, you don't have to touch anything, but you have to run your controls with this wealth only. Um, this wealth actually controls the speed of output and the percentage of output. If you need something like 90% you can increase the speed. If you need something above 90% you're decreasing the speed of flow and you're having high percentage spirits. Everything's very easy to control. Nothing to worry about. And uh, here we've got our production at about 94% right now. Above 90% anyway. Um, here's another thing to take into account. Here's a side column, and this side column is uh, releasing the water that's been separated from the spirits and some low spirits. If this water still contains some spirits, it's not a problem. It can be redistilled later, so there's no waste in here. Also, don't be too greedy, don't run the wash any faster than it is now, like two-thirds of the tube. If you're running it, uh, if you're making flow faster, running through the column, you can overfill column and lose your wash into the waste. And waste coming out of this green tube. Uh, this transparent one is wash supply into the steel. This one is water supply into the steam generator and uh, this tube at the back is actually indicates the water within the steam generator. It's a main thing, you have to have water in your steam generator all the time. Sufficient amount of water running through the steel to make sure there is enough pressure to maintain the pressure within, within the steam generator and uh, running through the cooling system. Here's the actual cooler over here and uh, here's a bypass so the unit runs at atmospheric pressure there's no big pressures inside whatsoever. So 
sorry for the mess around one more overview of the steel and percentage again so you can see the percentage isn't changes it's just running steadily properly running very well very good just one single column it's not like two columns I used to build before it's a new model but there is no manuals for that model just built it okay thanks a lot see you later